G'day guys, here we are at the number nine scaled block. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky because there's a fair few things we have to do and we're gonna learn a couple of new tricks. So this video might take a little bit longer. Make sure you pay attention and we'll get the whole thing done. Um, we'll start off with the footprint. We can see that it's 60 millimeters wide, but nowhere on the bottom does it tell us how wide it is in the other on the other axis. But if we look a bit further up on the drawing, we can see here that it tells us it's 32. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a rectangle that's 32 by 60. 32, 60 aces. Look at that. Okay. Now we can push pull that up to the big 125. 125. Enter. Oh, huge. All right. Look at that. Okay. Um, now, like I said, we usually want to save the angles till last. Uh, so let's make sure we do that. Let's do these few little channels here first. So we can see that in the bottom here, we're missing a little. Uh, I guess you could say just a little block out of the corner that's 14 by 14 on both sides. So let's get that in. We'll draw a, um, a rectangle, I reckon, from this bottom corner. On the green face, 14, 14, enter. And that gives us that. I reckon if we push that straight across, that'll work pretty well. All right, now we need to go 14 millimeters in this way. 14 millimeters in this way uh, to remove this sort of channel in the middle. So from this point, I guess this guide point here, we can see we need to go 16 millimeters up. So from that point, we'll go one six, enter. And yep, I reckon we can draw a rectangle from this point here to that point there. And that should give us something that we can push all the way through. Now, it ma yeah, here we go. So it's limited us to 14 millimeters because it doesn't like pushing um, past, I guess, another face. So what we need to do now is we need to erase this line and draw a pencil line from here straight down and here straight down on the blue axis and push that one all the way through, okay? So that's that bottom channel done, except it's given us a couple of pencil lines on here which we don't want, so let's erase those. Erase, erase. Okay, cool, that looks pretty good. Now, um, we'll do the slopes now because we can't really put this 22 by 14, we can't take that out until we've done the slopes um, because we need to make a new face. So let's get these slopes in. Um, the geometry tells us that, the, remember, we wanna find the top of the slope and the bottom of the slope. So we can see that the top of that slope is 34 millimeters from that edge there. So we'll go hit from this point, 34 millimeters up, uh, three, four, enter. There's the guide point. Uh, do the same on this side as well. 34, enter. So that's the top of the slope. The bottom of the slope is 48 millimeters from the from the top of the shape. So from here, we've got to go 48 millimeters down. And from here, we're going to go 48 millimeters down. Okay, cool. Then we need to, from the bottom of the slope, actually go into the shape because our line at the moment or our guide point is somewhere here, but we need to take it into the model, however deep it goes. And we can see that we've got a um, dimension here that tells us the slope is 18 millimeters deep. So from here, we're gonna go along the green axis, 18, enter, and along the other side, 18, enter. That, pretty cool. So now we'll just grab the line tool or the pencil tool. I'm locked onto something. Hang on, what's going on with my mouse? Oh, there we go, back on track, sorry. The line tool from this point here to that point there, and then straight up on the blue axis, like that. From this point here to that point there, straight up on the blue axis. Now, we can just use the push-pull tool to remove that to the back edge, double-click this one, and it's gone. Okay, that's starting to look like the scaled block. All that's left for us to do is to remove that 22 by 14 little channel at the back. So we'll grab our rectangle tool, start drawing the shape in the way we want, and 22 comma 14, enter. There it is. So we'll hit the push-pull tool and go all the way through the shape. And look at that. That looks pretty well like a scale block. Cool. So now you know what to do. Edit, delete guides, and we can file, save, into our folder, number nine, scaled. All right, save that. 
we'll hit file new to start a new drawing and number 10 is a radius guide oh cool we get to start playing with arcs in this one all right um i'll see you in the next video